Hey everybody, it's Kevin Kraft here, coming from the Columbia, Maryland, second swing tour van. Still on lockdown, still hoping to get out and play some more golf this year. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's hope we can all just get through this. Uh, I'm going through my bag. This is segment three. I'm going to talk about fairway woods and the driving iron at this point. Um, I'm in an interesting spot right now in that got enough club head speed still to technically be able to hit a four iron, uh, but I feel like it's just not as consistent as I want it to be. Uh, I don't really love the way hybrids look. Um, I've been playing hybrids ever since they first came out. Um, and I love the utility of it. It's, it's such, an, such a good golf club for being able to get out of so many different scenarios. They're actually even great around the greens, but being somebody who's extremely hypersensitive to the aesthetics of golf clubs, my what I like looking at has changed. So I just don't really love hybrids overall. Um, I recommend them most of the time. Honestly, if I were fitting me, I would absolutely recommend it as well. Um, I have one sitting over here that I'm not gonna get rid of, but um, to try and bridge the gap between a four iron and a hybrid, I have opted for this season anyway, to go with a driving iron style golf club. Um, this particular one is Pink's Crossover. Uh, I needed to go to the three iron in this to be able to create the proper gap from my five iron to the next club up. Uh, I see about 15 yards uh, longer with this one than I do with my five iron. Trajectory is still good. I hit the ball really, really high. Don't have any issues with getting the ball up in the air. So it was all about managing spin rates and, and then, of course, the, the gapping. So I want to see about 15 yards from my five iron to the next club up. And I want to see 15 to 20 from this club to my, what's it's a four wood. It's a five wood, but it's cranked down to 17 degrees. And then from that one to my uh, to my three wood, which is actually 12 and a half, so it's basically a two wood, and I want to see another 15 to 20. Um, and again, you know, trajectory is not really an issue. I don't have a hard time getting that 12 and a half degree off the ground. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, so I've been trying a lot of the driving irons. Uh, everybody's making them now, which is great because I do get a lot of people coming in and asking for something that is not a hybrid, but yet something that's a little bit easier to hit. Um, anybody that's got enough club head speed should be able to, to make this work pretty well. Trajectory becomes the big issue, right? When I get into the, the, you know, the longer clubs, the hardest part of fitting somebody is making sure that the, that distance is covered, but with the utility of trajectory as well, right? Having a, a club that covers, say, 220 yards but comes screaming in pretty flat isn't gonna be any good to anybody, right? Uh, it's gonna get there, but it has no chance of stopping, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but over the green tends to be terrible. So um, I'm always gonna be looking for trajectory. So sometimes we'll go away from something like this or even away from hybrid and go into a fairway wood. It, sometimes the fairway woods will provide a little bit more trajectory. So uh, it's all gonna be about making things work as best as possible. So for 2020, going with the, uh, with the pin crossover, Ford G410 crossover. Um, I've got the KBS uh, prototype tour hybrid shaft, 85 grams. Um, we got a number of different demos in. Uh, graphite Design DI was one of them. Uh, this one just really felt good to me, seemed easy, seemed to load and unload the way I wanted it to. So I went with it, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I've had one round of golf with it, I've hit it one time. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Felt good, uh, numbers in here seem to be good. It's gonna take some time on the golf course to really see what's going on. Uh, next club up for me, uh, I do have a pair of Callaway Epic Flash Fairway Woods. Uh, they're both sub-zeros. Uh, I hit the ball incredibly high, so Having something that doesn't spin as much uh, allows me to cover the distances that I need. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is a this is a five wood, which standard comes at 18 degrees. I've got it cranked down to 17. This is my 235 in the air club. Um, 
I hit it about 125 feet in the air. Gets up really, really well. Um, you're going to notice a theme coming up here with uh, with shafts in the top end of the bag. Uh, I didn't like any of the uh, Project Project X even flows until they came out with the white, and this white is to me the best feeling shaft I've ever swung. It's like my spirit shaft. Um, I've got it in both my fairway woods and I've also got it in my driver. Um, this is 75 grams. Uh, it's kind of a natural progression. I think mean, we were at 85 in the, in the driving iron, 75 here, and then I'm down into the 60s with the driver. Um, if you've seen the other segments that I've done, uh, I've referenced that everything's cut down. I've got these cut down as well. Um, I'm looking for control. Uh, I hit the ball far enough, not a long ball hitter, uh, but I hit it far enough. So for me, really control is gonna be the big thing. Uh, I'm playing tournaments. I gotta know where that ball's going. Uh, so I'm at 17 degrees with this producing good numbers. And then the three wood is maybe the most important club in my golf bag. Um, I've got this at 12 and a half degrees and that's really purpose built. Um, this is a low spinning head and at 12 and a half degrees, it's really a driver replacement for me. Um, I have the yips with the driver. Uh, yips typically are associated with more touch shots, you know, putting, chip shots, that kind of thing. Um, my last year on tour in 2008, I developed the yips with the driver. Um, just woke up one day and couldn't hit them anymore. And it got really inside my head actually got me to walk away from the game for seven years. Uh, I didn't play any competitive golf for, for quite a long time. And when I decided that I wanted to play again, I had to really make some significant changes uh, to be able to overcome that. So with the driver, I'm back, I can hit it again um, most of the time, but I really rely heavily on my three wood. It's such an important club for me. If I've got to turn a ball over off the tee, I'm going to defer to this three wood. I mean, it's just shorter shaft, more loft, and all that makes it easier to turn over. And so it's a lot easier to control for me. Um, I lose maybe 20, 25 yards off the tee with this. So if I would normally be hitting a nine iron in, if I hit a good drive, I'm going to be hitting seven iron. That's okay. Um, there are certain instances where I can't hit driver. I know I can't hit driver. So this is my go-to club for that. Um, and when I'm when we're fitting for fairway woods, you know, one of the big questions I'm always going to ask is, is this going to be primarily a tee club or primarily a fairway club? And oftentimes it's both, you know, so we have to be able to match up the ability to create good trajectory and spin numbers coming into the greens, as well as something that's going to be able to cover the distance that we want it to cover off the tee. So uh, because I hit the ball really high, I don't really have a problem hitting, you know, with 12 and a half degrees. I can flight it down off the tee and I can also hit it pretty high coming into the greens. So uh, that's where I am with fairway woods. Um, I'm excited to really get these things out and put them through the, through the paces. These were uh, my only holdover from 2019. Um, these things aren't going anywhere. I absolutely love these fairway woods. They do everything I need them to do. They feel great. And uh, everything else, it's been, it's, it's new stuff for this year, and that's okay. I like playing with this stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll talk about driver here next, but uh, that's most of the top of the bag. Talk to you soon.